Hi, it's Alyssa from Maintaining Motherhood, where I talk about simplifying to enjoy life more. I want to talk about kindergarten and preschool. I'm a homeschooling mom of ages 12, 10, 9, 7, 5, and 3. And one of the things that you'll find as a homeschool mom is that you can completely cater what you do to your child. You don't have to stick with a grade level. And so today, uh, as I go through the things that we're using for our different grade levels, I hope that you'll just remember that every child is different, that every homeschool situation is different. And just because this works for us or because my child is at a certain grade level, it just means this is what we do for our homeschool and this is what works great for us. Again, the best part about homeschooling is that you can cater the experience to the individual and that's what we have found that we absolutely love. I want to talk about kindergarten and preschool kind of together because I feel like you kind of do the same types of things. They're both very play focused. We also focus a lot on reading, like doing read alouds with them, not necessarily teaching them to read. And the biggest thing that I found with teaching preschool and kindergarten is that you don't want to push it. So we do a lot of workbooks, a lot of coloring, um, with preschool, you mostly are wanting to focus on those skills of like holding a pencil, cutting, gluing, um, matching, colors, numbers, counting, just the simple things like that. It doesn't have to be that in depth. Um, for kindergarten, the biggest things that you want to do is make sure that they can read and write. And if it's not fun for them and if they're kind of kicking back, don't really worry about it too much because those are skills that they'll learn later on. We just try and really focus on all oh, learning is fun and we love to learn. And the more that they see their siblings learning, the more they want to learn. So as I go over the curriculum that, or I guess the materials that we use today, take it with a grain of salt because if you're just starting out with younger children, they don't have the older kids to look to as an example. And so school may not be this thing that they want to be a part of. And that's okay, start slow. In our family, we have so many older kids that the younger kids want to do school because they feel like it's a fun thing and they get to spend time with mom and um, it's learning and they get to do the workbooks and they get to use all the cool pencils and markers and things. And so I try and make it fun. And as soon as it stops being fun, we change and do something different. My kids are also, they have all learned to read at a very early age because we read so much in our family. Um, they've all used a program called Waterford Upstart and um, it's a free online preschool that we've used that has taught all of our kids to read. And it's just 15 minutes a day, five days a week. And so you can check out their website and see if it's offered in your area. It has been the hugest blessing uh, for our family because instead of my kids being bored, like waiting at the doctor's office or something, I can hand them a book at age three or four and they can read it and it's, it just has been great. Um, if I didn't have this Upstart program, I would definitely be homeschooling a lot differently uh, because I wouldn't want to make reading a task or a chore, but it has definitely helped them all to learn to read very fluently. They don't read like robots. They don't read haltingly. They're just fluent readers and they have amazing um, retention and comprehension. Uh, the Waterford Upstart program also has taught them to add and subtract and um, as they keep going, it goes up through third grade. And so my kids have gotten a really good reading and math base through this program. Also, a lot of the materials that we purchase for preschool and for kindergarten, I actually just get at the dollar store. I don't spend a ton on it because again, it's mostly just reading, which you can go to the library for books for free. Um, or we have been able to slowly accumulate books here in our home thrift stores and things like that for fairly inexpensive. So reading and then learning how to write and then simple math. And they have so many workbooks that are available at the dollar store. They may not be the best quality, but it gets the job done. So let's go over what we use um, for preschool first. Again, I just bought some simple um, workbooks from the dollar store colors and shapes, it's good to have color recognition. And so they can just, we're doing the red page and find the red marker and they can scribble all over the whole entire page. It doesn't matter how it looks. You can even get um, red stickers and put them on the red page. Things like that, just very simple 
and also it keeps them it keeps the toddlers busy while the big kids are doing their school with me as well sticker books are really fun it helps them learn to peel the sticker off and then put it in a shape or just peel it off and stick it anywhere on a paper it keeps them busy for hours so there are a bunch of different activities that they can work on in order to learn their alphabet colors and shapes just knowing what they are and through fun activities again lots of tracing just learning how to hold a pencil is a good enough skill for me so that is your dollar store curriculum we've done these like dry erase books and they have simple dot to dots again mostly in preschool it's just scribbling and that doesn't matter because you could just erase it use again for a different child when i have a child uh, that is really wanting to read and sees the other kids reading i have started with teach your child to read in 100 easy lessons this is a book that we have used for a lot of our kids it starts out it has kind of funky letters in it and that's how your child Get to that. That's how your child gets to recognize how to say the different sounds. And it tells you the exact script that you say. They learn to sound out simple, simple words. Again, more simple words. And see, this is what I mean about kind of funky letters. But that's just to learn to recognize it. And then by the end, they're reading just normally and doing great. I've never actually made it all the way through this book because by the time we get about halfway through, it's time for that child to be uh, doing their Waterford Upstart, which they can start the year before they go into kindergarten. And so then that kind of picks up the pieces there. We also do letter magnets a lot and they'll just sit and put them on the fridge while I'm working with another kid. Um, we can even have them spell things out or you could type out a piece of paper that has spelled words or even just write a word like cat or dog or mom on the piece of paper and have them find the matching magnets or you give them the magnets and they put them in order. So lots of really, really simple things that you can do to just basically you're teaching while keeping the toddlers busy so that you can get the school done with the other kids. With kindergarten, it's kind of the same as preschool, just keeping them busy and happy. Um, but we do focus again on the reading and the writing. So I've gotten more of like these letters and writing books, the alphabet, numbers and counting. And again, all these are from the dollar store, super easy. Some of the other ones that I've just found at thrift stores um, where they'll have maybe a page or two that are colored in. We've got this one and these two. I don't have a favorite, but when I do, I'll make sure to let you know. Right now it's just coloring and having fun. Uh, one thing that I would look for is if you have a kindergartner who doesn't yet know to write, is try to find a workbook that is more focused on um, the coloring or circling things instead of actually writing the letters because otherwise that can kind of become a frustration. The best handwriting program that I have used so far is um, Learning Without Tears. It's the Handwriting Without Tears. And we use Handwriting Without Tears for all of the age groups. We use this one for our preschooler and now it's a coloring book for my two-year-old. So you can, there's lots of coloring. Again, mostly just tracing really, really big letters, but we love this. And it was something that my preschooler looked forward to every day. And they have these through grade six. So we love handwriting without tears. So for math, for our kindergartner, uh, if you wanna find out the different math curriculums that we use, you can check out my video on that. But we're using the Good and the Beautiful Math K for him and it comes with a whole box of manipulatives that we love. Um, while we're doing a math lesson, I usually have my 
preschooler sit and play with the wooden blocks or she likes to put the pieces on the tangrams and then we'll kind of switch and my kindergartner will do a tangram or something and I'll sit and just count or find all the red blocks or find all the yellow blocks with the preschooler. So I'll always school those two together, the kindergartner and the preschooler, so that the preschooler feels like she's getting a school opportunity too because she begs to do school all day long. Level K math. This is my favorite math. I just absolutely cannot say enough about the Good and the Beautiful math program. So it starts out with um, kind of giving you an overview of how the book works. And then they'll have different activities that you do. Uh, there's little worksheets that you can do. This one was a fun little game where you can put the ice cream scoops on top of the ice cream cones. So we just absolutely love this. And then it comes with a whole box um, of manipulatives. So there are all these tangram boards that come with it. Uh, blocks, they use these for counting, for sorting, for patterns. There's the B manipulatives and there's garden ones. So they're just, there are a whole bunch of really great things that come with this. For language arts, we use the Good and the Beautiful um, Level K language arts, and it does incorporate some um, little art projects in it, and it does start to do a little bit of geography near the end. Uh, the beginning focuses a lot on sight words, and then it does get more progressive into reading as the book goes along. We love The Good and the Beautiful. This is the level K for language arts and it's very colorful. They have simple sounding out. I really liked this activity, um, learning to recognize the difference between D or B. It starts out. So the things that they cover in kindergarten is phonics and reading grammar usage and punctuation. And then they have other things like antonyms, art appreciation, rhyming, and they have it all broken down over here for you. So it starts out with some really simple sounding out, really simple sentences. Again, it's very colorful. My kindergartner loves to use this book. The kindergartner and the preschooler, because of the way that we do our family style homeschool, be sure to check out my video on that. Um, they are involved and included, but I don't like give them assignments or anything to do with those, but they are aware of the things that we're learning for history and science. That's what we're using for our curriculum. It's pretty simple, pretty cut and dry. So if you like this kind of video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and click down below to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you know when other great homeschooling videos are posted. Uh, if you have any comments or if you would like a more in-depth flip through, please make sure to leave that in the comments below.